All right, what's my one locust finder here? And today we're gonna be playing some more killing. Yeah, Florado. Well then, boys, today we're gonna be checking out the HRG locust. Yep, this is gonna be a survivalist weapon, and let me quickly get it. So yeah, here we go. The HRG locust is gonna be a tier three weapon for the survivalist. And what does it do? Well, the primary fire launches a rocket that creates a cloud of nanobot locusts that attack Zeds. So yeah, this is gonna be your trash clearing machine and let's quickly see if this thing is gonna be killing the trash and we're also gonna see if it's gonna be killing we the bigger things as well I mean theoretically it should because I'm playing solo and pretty much everything works on solo but yeah this thing it's pretty much meant for we let the immediate trash around you I mean look at this shit man Bro. Yeah, I do believe this is gonna be like a meta weapon for the survivalist or you can just like use it on any other perk Because it's just so good for trash. I mean usually in multiplayer you got like a group of little things And you know you just like whack him with one of this and they're gonna be dying Nice boy. So the initial explosion. Yeah, it's not gonna be doing all that much But the locusts yeah, they're gonna be applying the bleed effect and they're also gonna be knocking down the zeds Which means yeah, trash is not even gonna get close to you fam I mean even if you miss your shot. Yeah, the locusts. Yeah, they will just attack the zeds that step in it I mean look at this shit man Yeah, it's kind of good actually fairly decent here I mean, they last for quite a while, I'd say. Stay dead, oh, call like two shots for the bloat and he's like knocked down. But yeah, by the way, if you can't tell already, this thing's gonna be a Seeker 6 reskin. Which means you're gonna have lock-on capabilities. And let's just see if it's gonna work out. Um, kind of. I mean, even if I used the Seeker 6 in my, you know, normal games, yeah, I never really used the lock-on. But I mean, this thing could be kind of good for uh, some multiplayer shenanigans. Why not? A solid start, but many yeah, this thing's a freaking beast. And on top of that, it doesn't even like cost all that much. I do believe it was like 900 dosh in the trader. Now you could upgrade it and it's gonna be like 8 kilograms, but you don't really have to upgrade it if you're just gonna be using it for purely killing the trash. Now they might nerf it or they might buff it or they might leave it alone, this is beta 1 after all. Because in beta 2, yeah, they're gonna be polishing stuff up, well at least the statistics for weapons. If you know something's a little bit too OP, yeah, they're gonna go back and... Well, yeah, check on that. Oh, yeah, Skrook is Skrook. Yeah, I just like shot him six times and my man got knocked down. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm barely even trying. I mean, I'm not even like sprint. I'm just like walking around the map, just like occasionally shooting my shit on the floor. Why does it knock him down? I don't understand why it does that. Or should I say, does it even need that? Because, I mean, the locusts... I feel like the Zeds just get too many, you know, debuffs on them. I mean, they get, like, the bleeding effect, they get, you know, the panic effect, and then they just get knocked down as well. I mean, do they need all that much? Oh, and there the hus goes. R.I.P. in pieces, my dude. Hey, yo. But yeah, for what it's worth, this weapon is actually quite satisfying. Okay, let's see how much it takes for the freaking needles to die. Yeah, this is not a Edar killing weapon. Okay, got one less Zed. It is gonna be a bloat. And he's dead. As easy as that. But yeah, you guys can let me know what you think about this weapon because for me personally, I don't see why you wouldn't use it. So at first I was a little bit skeptical about this weapon because I thought it was just gonna be, I don't know, like a immediate clot killing machine. But it turns out that it's kind of good. But yeah, if your aim is bad, yeah, you can always just like right click and it's just gonna go directly into the Z you are aiming at. Easy fucking clap. Yeah, boy. N never mind. But yeah, lock on, no lock on. It doesn't make a difference on what the shots are gonna be. So yeah, I'm not sure why would you even have the shit set on, well, yeah, non lock on mode. Boy. 
Did you move? It just like transfers to the side. The fuck, boy. Hey, yo, Siren. You're about to get some ass whooping, Maji. Boy. But I mean, basically, I'm not even trying. I'm just like randomly walking around the map, just like shooting the stuff I see. And you know, it's it's pretty easy. Well, then there, there goes the screw. Okay, let's just see what it's gonna be doing to like some flesh wounds when they spawn. Or when I actually see the things. <laughs> hey, yo. The fuck? The fuck? Yeah, you can't tell me just just by looking at the gameplay that you know this thing is Yeah, kind of kind of good. Now I mean you could be doing a lot more with you know headshots and stuff like that, but Yeah, I mean this shit for like a crowd control type of weapon. Why not? Okay, screwy screw, not sure what the hell your priorities are, but I'm just gonna whoop you right up. And I do believe we got a bloat in the distance. Yeah, knock down, shoot him while he's knocked. Easy fucking clap, boy. Dude, just look at this, man. It's just so good. Ow, oh, thanks, man. Don't even want to, like, press my, well, yeah, shift button to run around. Just, like, casually doing some shit. Okay, you know what? I just want to, like, pause the game and just, like, see what this locust looks like. Oh, it's just, uh... Just a projectile. Hey, yo, what the fuck you doing, incursion dude? The fuck? Okay, Idar ain't sure what you are planning. Perfect. Dude, he takes near enough the same shots to kill as a freaking screw. Okay, you know what I wanna do? I just want to, like, spawn a bunch of, like, I don't know, gore fasts, and let's see if one shot kills them all. Okay, so here we go. We got a lot of gore fasts at once. I mean, this is kind of like a multiplayer scenario, I guess, where there's, like, more Zeds spawning, and if you just, like, shoot in the middle of them... Yeah. Poof. <laughs> yeah, one shot and everything's just dead. The fuck? Yeah, if the weapon stays as is, yeah, I'm probably gonna be using it a little bit. I mean, on top of that, yes, yeah, spontaneous z plosion actually works with this weapon as well, so the more you kill, you know, with just like one shot, yeah, they do have like a chance to explode and kill stuff even faster. So yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, this thing does exactly what it's designed to do. Yeah, clear a lot of trash. So yeah, the Zeds, they do have like a little bit more health on multiplayer, but it's only really noticeable with, you know, Scrakes, Flashbones and bosses. So yeah, for little things, yeah, pretty much expect the same thing as you're seeing right now. Not with a nice shot, oh my man, my man. Just like went directly to the other freaking Zed. Easy to clap. Oh, what are you doing, werewolf? You're getting clapped, I see. Hey, yo. Okay, now we got some uh, fucking quarter puns. Three shots. Okay, I didn't like the rage him, but I mean, four shots and he's dead, so. Yeah. Easy fucking clap, I think. Oh, God. So, yeah, the locust, it does stay for, you know, a reasonable amount of time on the map, so if you got, like, a group of Zeds behind, the Zeds you just killed, yeah, they do have, like, a high chance of stepping into that shit. And, you know, getting absolutely clapped. Okay, just gonna casually walk backwards, but how did you get hit? Okay, I thought that siren just, like, destroyed my projectile, but apparently not. Yeah, this thing, powerful. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, it's not gonna be good for the boss. I have a feeling. Hey, yo, now we got some, like, actual flesh ones over here. Oh, there's two of them. Very, very cool. Okay, let's just like rage both the Scrake and the Flesh Pound at once. Ow. I mean, he clapped me a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's not like that good for Flesh Pounds, but I mean, it can't be like good for everything because... Yeah, already kills trash in like 0.01 seconds. Hey, yo, screw the fuck. Nice. I mean, you can still shoot the flesh bones and scrakes, but I mean, obviously, if you're gonna have like a dedicated perk on the team that, you know, specializes in killing those things, I mean, don't shoot the things. But I mean, if you're just like playing public and everyone's just like shooting everything at once, I mean, just might as well shoot this thing at the flesh bones or scrake as well. Because if there's gonna be like trash Zeds, you know, next to him, yeah, you're gonna be killing them with... Well, yeah, the nanobots. 
or should I say the locust. But yeah, they actually did a good job with, you know, the visuals of this weapon and how it functions. So yeah, thumbs up for that. Now I just like wish they just like went back into 2019 and didn't even hire Saber and made the proper updates this game deserved and we should be good. But obviously that's not gonna happen, so killing floor 3 it is. I think Cedar didn't need that. Okay, quick little cheeky heal, got like two freaking Edars to kill and I just like ran out of ammunition. But yeah, the ammunition on this weapon, it's honestly not that bad. And I mean, for this rivalist, yeah, you can have like a lot of weapons. So that shouldn't even be much of a problem. Okay, now we're gonna be fighting the boss. And let's just, I know, go for a sentinel as well. Look at that inspection anime, what the fuck is even going on? Well then, skip the trader and let's see what we can possibly do. But yeah, the animations on the Seeker 6, they're pretty good. Or should I say... The reskin. Oh my god, we got the most boring boss in the game. King Fleshbound. I mean, to be fair, yeah, I can just like shoot him, you know, from afar, and he is. Well, he's just gonna be dying passively, I believe. Okay, quarter punt. Don't like you. I mean, I can just like run away from him indefinitely without him, will he even punching me here? Never mind. Guess I lied. I mean, it's doing like decent damage, not like too much damage. But I mean, you would kind of like expect that from a weapon like this. Ow. Bam. No. But you know, for something like, I don't know, Hans or, you know, the Patriarch, where there's like a lot of trash Zeds next to him. Yeah, this thing, kind of decent. Okay, please don't do the laser beam, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Or maybe even for like the Abomination, because it has like a lot of Abomination spawns that are just gonna get like instantly destroyed by this thing. But yeah, for bosses, it's just gonna be like a support weapon if you want to use it, but for raw damage, yeah, I wouldn't pick it for that. I mean, as you can see, I'm just like shooting this dude for giga freaking ages and it's not even doing much. And now I just need to like run away and get some ammunition. I mean, it is actually kind of cool that you can just like get ammo infinitely on the boss wave. Because I mean, if you didn't, how'd you get me there? But yeah, as I was saying, if you didn't get infinite ammunition, yeah, you would just like run around. It would be boring, so at least they've done that. Because I mean, killing floor 2, as long as there's like action going on, it can be boring. But as soon as, you know, you just have to like run around, do like absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's when this game becomes boring as fuck. Okay, let's just go and finish you off, freaking King Fishbound. Okay, what are your plans even? Okay, let me just quickly heal, maybe parry your ass, and I think it will die right now. So yeah, the locust, yeah, this thing, it's pretty freaking good. Ain't even gonna lie. So yeah, do let me know in the comments what you guys think about the HRG Locust because, well yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.